Champions of Champions League brings you to the Great Wall of China. The legendary Angela Rivera Parr takes on femme fina Julie Kitchen. I find our lives very similar. She's a mother and she's my age. Titans collide on the next Champions of Champions Elite, only on G4. <laughs> Driving a bus. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. A cat driving a bus? Gadget prawn time! Woo! Underwater cameras are the domain domain of National Geographic, James Cameron. Mm -hmm. And now you. Take full advantage of the Indian summer this year with the Sanyo Zakti waterproof camcorder. Diving down to a depth of 10 feet underwater, the Zakti shoots video in full HD or takes 14 megapixel still photos, all with a 12x dual range zoom. It even has digital image stabilization and face chasing technology. So no matter how wet you get, you'll never miss the action for 350 bucks. Swagging. Swagging on over here. I was, I was swagging. Swaggering, swagging. I, was, I got my yeah, swag on. You, you do that, you do that. Swag happens. <laughs> So the, uh, the Sanyo Zakti, it feels pretty sturdy, mm -hmm. weighs about eight and a half ounces, it is shaped like a pistol. Boo, boo. <laughs> oh. Or as someone pointed out. I thought you were faith healing. Uh, <laughs> bam, bam. Yeah. Uh, someone pointed out it looks like a, a phaser from old school Star Trek. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, for a waterproof camera, what are your thoughts on the design? Uh, I am not a designer of waterproof cameras. Ah. Um, <laughs> but from what I can, I mean, I had the, the older model of this camera and had a lot of fun with it. I think for extended periods of shooting, it's actually not that fun to grip. Hmm. Um, but for quick, easy shooting, it's totally fine. And the buttons on the back are right where your thumb should be, which is great. Um, there's a reversible flip out LCD monitor uh, on the side, which is great. You can also point it forward. Uh, and there's a flash in the front. Now the zoom and the record uh, thumb buttons are on top, the power and menu buttons, along with the directional pad are on the side. But if you can see right there, the actual D-pad is on this tiny little circle around the set button. So if you want to navigate on it, you have to use very, very precise little presses. And that gets a little annoying. Um, it does have a protective locked casing for video outports. And since Sanyo is owned by Panasonic, you can upgrade it to 64 gigs with an SDXC card, which will give you eight hours of footage. That's, eight, that's pretty impressive for a little handheld. That's an amount of underwater footage. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. All right, now besides- You will be pruned. <laughs> for sure, within the first 45 minutes, probably. All right, besides having a 12x dual range zoom, the Zac-T also has image stabilization and face detection, mm -hmm. standard features for most cameras, but do they work as intended? Yes, they do, Ms. Hayslip. Oh. Uh, image stabilizer works well. It will stabilize your image. The face chaser detects um, uh, faces, faces automatically. Yeah, and it, the, the whole point of that is that, uh, uh, why they called it face chaser, I don't know. It's basically face detection, but when it does detect said face, um, it will autofocus on that subject well, for you, which is nice. Jerk, he's acting like Danny. Well, yeah, uh, Danny's actually having a seizure in that video. Oh, that okay. is not. Um, My bad. Paramedics My bad. were called <laughs> shortly after that. Uh, the Zacti also takes high speed sequential shots, um, which works okay. It's a nice bonus, but again, you're primarily buying this as a video camera, not to take photos of said seizure patient. <laughs> right. Now, the camera shoots in full HD video and takes 14 megapixel stills. So, mm -hmm. how is the quality? Oh, well, it's got 1920 by 1080 i So, it is I. full HD, but it's interlaced. Uh, it does shoot at 60 frames a second, though, which is pretty cool. Yeah. Um, as you're about to see, the video quality looks good like. Oh. Outdoor footage uh, oh. looks a little muted on an overcast day. Those, Those fishies don't mind. Terrible. Look at that. Um, indoor and indoors in low light, the footage, as you'll see very quickly, looks grainy and fuzzy. But oh, yeah. again, this is really an outdoors camera. This is for, for outside, this is for underwater, not for inside dark studios. Um, <laughs> underwater, the footage looks good. You can shoot down to depths of 10 feet. So you can use wow. this for uh, like, you know, surfing, snorkeling, <laughs> uh, videos of bikini bottoms, you know what I'm saying? What? When you're, when you're searching bottoms. for the clamshells. <laughs> in the sand, in the sand. Um, pictures look good for a waterproof camera. Uh, but then again, it depends on the lighting, just like everything else. Right, now for 350 bucks, which is crazy Whoa. pricey, you can buy a PS3 for that. It's pricey, uh, but you can't slide a PS3 down a slip and slide and get footage of it. That is true. Uh, thank you. Uh, what are we giving this? Uh, we're actually giving it a three out of five. Uh, and it's mostly, it's mostly because of the price. The Zacti has a nice design, but we wish the button layout was a little more defined. It does what it's intended to do. I mean, it works underwater as a camera and the video quality is good, but you can actually find an equivalent camera for half the price. And this is the, uh, the Kodak PlaySport, which we reviewed back in July. This thing shoots 1080p, takes five megapixel stills. It's only 130 bucks. Oh. So I love the Zacti. I'm a, I'm a fan of the line, but right. at that price, we have, to, we have to rate it expensive. the way we did. Yeah. Yeah, there, there you go. All right, that's it for Gadget Prana. Remember, for even more of the latest news on computers and tech, check out g4tv.com slash the feed.